This tutorial is for intermediate Blender users. I'm using version 2.63a and in general you should be familiar with all my 2.63a tutorials and my uh, quick tip tutorials. It's about 50 tutorials in to total and I cover a lot of details in those tutorials. So if you know that then let's just take a look at this scene here. It's This is, uh, this is one of the uh, transport vehicles I use in another application and but I call it in this case you know big brother laser control so let's take a look at the animation so really what it is it's let's see it's coming in it's got a laser check here and then when it finds it it, it destroys the vehicle and so I'm just going to point out a few of the details in here that might not be obvious at the outset that, and what I'm doing in here so I'll stop it real quick let's see in here a couple things that typically I don't this is a spotlight. There's actually right here. This is this is the headlight to the vehicle. Let's look at it close like this. Oops, I'll just zoom in close. All right. So there's the headlight to the vehicle, and within the vehicle, I have a couple of uh, lights right in here. These guys here. There's actually three of them in the scene. Now I won't typically use this in the, my game engine applications, but let's zoom in and close and see what's different about it. Then notice it's actually a series of one, two, three different spotlights. You can see they all have a different spot angle. And the reason for doing that is from a distance you don't really notice it, right? I have a little bit of red to offset the green that complements the green color, and some blue, and then a lighter blue like that. And what it does, it softens the light in the scene because I'm using a conventional spot. Because typically I work in real time applications instead of uh, completed renderings, and things like this can help diffuse the light and make not make it such a hard edge on the spotlight. Alright, that's one thing. Another thing is, let's step through the animation here. Let's see if I can uh, let's see if I can get a timeline up here real quick. If I can get a, grab, grab a timeline. Oh, I can't do it in this mode because I'm zoomed in like this. So I'll just I'll run it so you can see it back here. Notice when right in here there's a little white light that comes cruising off over the edge like right there all right and it's this light right back here and the purpose of that light is to do nothing more than to give it a little bit of a highlight streak going across the top of the vehicle like this and then when it hits the laser spot like this so big brother doesn't like your vehicle he just takes you out all right and so the so the laser you know, it gives it the effect of the laser crawling up the vehicle. Another thing I'm doing is, let me stop it here, is notice I have another light here, and this light is, I'll just step back through it, this light is actually parented to the object, and the reason being is it, it provides a blue highlight to the surface of the object at all times, and it's fairly low brightness, and that way I can maintain the highlight yet keep the background of the scene dark like that because it was a bright light it would over illuminate the scene and then for these that you know about these oh this is actually all grouped together so I can just bring them into another application if I want but the individual things remember the individual faces you'll remember from my particle lessons they're based on uh, this explosion uh, when you use it in the particle system is tangential and this one is uh, just a normal. I'm using the normals so it explodes out via the normals like this and let me see if I can show you like this. Let's get it out like this. You'll see that as I step through here these guys aren't exploding straight out because if you make those explode straight out from the vehicle it it kind of looks like it's a projectile going out one direction whereas these are okay because as far as the vehicle is concerned then I want it they'll explode out in, all, out in all directions like that but these just they work better if you do it tangentially tangentially I should say like that all right, and then this uh, light in here, this headlamp, just has some emission applied to the light to give it that glow effect. And I had to try and match it with this color when I put the spotlights in the scene as well. So, and, uh, so, but you should be pretty familiar with most everything else in the scene. But I just wanted to point out the lights and the purpose of the highlights and how they're parented and stay fixed to the scene sometimes. And even the spots are parented to that and stay fixed to the scene. 
and then uh, you'll see this vehicle in uh, showing up in one of my integral calculus lessons here in the near future. Okay, well that's it for this lesson. I'll see you in the next lesson.